today we are reading with Nani Bali on World Read Aloud Day to try and reach as many children as possible um, with the story that they've put forward called Fly Everyone Fly, written by Sihle Nonshokweni. Africa, Dinkle and Mamwa Africa were on a bus on their way to visit Gobo. Yay, holidays at last, said Africa as he bounced up and down in his seat. Can you see him here in the bus? Shh, you'll wake your sister, whispered Mamwa Africa. Sorry, Mama, whispered Africa. Africa tried to sit still, but he couldn't. I wish this old bus was an aeroplane, he said, as he put his arms out and pretended they were aeroplane wings. If we were flying, we would have been at Gogo's house long ago. I know, said Mama, but please put your arms down before you poke your fingers in someone's eye. Ash, this bus is so slow, sighed Africa. We'll never get there. It took hours, but at last the bus stopped and they could see Gogo waving to them. I was so excited that I got here early, said Gogo, as she hugged and kissed them all. We were on this bumpy, noisy old bus for so long, Gogo, said Africa. I know, smiled Gogo. Now let's get you all home. I have tea and cake waiting and Neo and Mbali will be home soon. That made Africa smile all the way to Gogo's house. There they go. As Gogo cut the cake, she said, When I was young, we didn't have buses. Now there are cars, taxis, buses, trains, and aeroplanes, said Neo as he walked into the room with Mbali. Africa jumped up to greet his friends. He was so happy to see them again. Bali looked around. Yum, yum, she said, pointing at the cake. Gogo laughed and gave them each a slice. Josh, Hope and Bella will visit tomorrow, she said. And Noodle, said Mbali. And Noodle, agreed Gogo. Who do you think Noodle is? We'll have to wait and see. Doesn't that cake look delicious? The next day, everyone was up early. If I know your friends, said Mamwa Africa, they will be here before you finished your breakfast. Just then, everyone heard barking. Noodle, slow down, Bella shouted as she followed Noodle into the room. Noodle was very happy to see everyone. Have you figured out? Noodle is the dog. Soon Josh and Hope arrived and everyone started talking at once. Gogo covered her ears. Finish eating then, off you go, Gogo said and sent the older children and Noodle outside to play. Josh, said Africa as he pushed the wheelchair to the field. Remember the last time I was here and you won the kite competition? Yes, laughed Josh. I'll never forget that. Well, let's have a paper aeroplane competition, said Africa, and took out a drawing of his paper aeroplane. Wow, that's so cool, Josh said. One day I want to be a pilot, but wait, I will show you how to fly. Do what I do, he shouted. Josh lifted his arms, and then he sang, Sway left, sway right, sway right, sway left. Lift your arms and close your eyes. Left, right, up. Down, we will fly all around. Africa, Neo, Bella and Hope soon joined in. As Josh turned around and around in his wheelchair, the others ran around with their arms stretched out, singing and laughing. And of course Noodle joined in. They only stopped once they were all out of breath. Now let's make some paper planes, said Africa. He opened his backpack and pulled out a few sheets of paper. I'll show you what to do. I wish they taught us this in school, said Hope, as she followed Africa's instructions. Once everyone was done, Africa said, Before you let your plane fly, you must decide where you want to go. As you throw your plane into the air, shout out the name of the country you are sending your plane to. One, two, three, fly! They all threw their paper planes up into the air. I'm sending mine to Zimbabwe, said Neo. Mine's going to England, Bella and Hope shouted at the same time. Brazil, said Africa. Japan, said Josh. The children laughed as they watched their planes fly across the sky. Noodle ran around barking and tried to catch the paper planes. Look at them having such a fun time. Now you know that you don't have to be in a real aeroplane to be able to fly, said Josh. Wait, Neo, stop. Where are you going? asked Africa. Home, laughed Neo. I'm hungry. Me too, said Bella. Woof, said Noodle. Hope looked at her watch. We're late for lunch, she said. We'd better run. No, said Josh. Let's fly. 
They all laughed, put their arms out and flew home. There you go, guys. Remember to keep reading out loud. Parents, read to your children. Lots and lots of benefits for reading out loud, including showing them that you value books and reading, giving things to talk about together, building bonds, improving vocab, etc., etc. See you next time.